Hi everybody and welcome to a new exciting video in the AI audio business series. In today's video I want to talk about a company called Audio Analytic. In a nutshell what they do is providing a machine listening layer to any type of application. In other words they have a very powerful sound detection engine. So but how did I discover this company? Well, it was through its research. So at ICASP 2020, they uh, submitted this paper, which was basically a new evaluation framework for sound detection systems. And I found it like really interesting. And then I just realized that all the researchers were from the same company. And then I just like decided to dig in more into uh, the company itself. But now let me give you a little bit more information about audio analytic. So it was founded in 2010. It has already raised quite uh, substantial money from VCs, more than $20 million so far. And it, this is a UK based company precisely from Cambridge. The company was uh, founded by Chris Mitchell, who's now acting as the CEO of the company. And Chris uh, has a PhD in digital signal processing and his initial research into like sound detection uh, from what I gather is what started like audio analytic. It was like the initial research foundation audio analytic was like built upon. Cool. But what does audio analytic do like specifically? Well, what they do is they have an AI driven sound recognition engine that can be plugged in any type of application really. Now here the important thing to stress is sound. So they do sound recognition. As you guys know, if you're familiar with this channel, there are many different types of like sounds we can detect and analyze. So one type of sound obviously is voice, but they're not focused on voice. Another type of sound is uh, music, but they're not focused on music. Rather, they're focused on all the other types of sounds, like for example, a dog barking, baby crying, windows smashing, smoke alarms. And this is like a very interesting um, space where to do like a, a detection because like these types of sounds are qualitatively quite different from like music and voice where you have a lot of like recurring uh, patterns and a lot of like structures in, in them. Whereas like these type of sounds like can be like way more problematic like to analyze. Okay, but how does like their technology work? Well, they have like a full pipeline and now I want to go like step by step from like what I gathered like from their website really and other like blogs that they have. So first of all, they have like initial parts, which is data collection. So they basically uh, create like audio samples that then they use like for training like their sound detection uh, engine. The cool thing is that Audio Analytic has its own uh, recording studio. And yeah, I think like that is like really cool and it's a nice way of like creating high quality audio samples. Okay, the second step that they have is this audio data set called Alexandria. And uh, I think like this is like a really interesting idea because like they are building like their own data set and this data set like it's quite large. So they already have 30 million labeled uh, samples with 1000 uh, classes of sounds that they can um, like divide like the different sounds like into. And obviously they have like their own uh, taxonomy to divide like all and classify all the different sounds that they have. Now, they leverage Alexandria to uh, train sound detection uh, systems. And specifically, like the technology that they've built here is called Auditory Net and is a sound recognition deep neural uh, network. Now, uh, they use like this um, deep neural network and they embed it into AI3, which is a software platform that they 
um, license like to different companies which are interested like in using like their uh, technology. Now, from what I gather, AI free comes like in different flavors. There are there is also like a lighter version that you can use like on devices which have limited computational power. For example, like um, mobile phones or uh, microcontrollers, I believe even. So the basic idea here is that you can take like this AI free software platform and plug it into uh, like any type of device, like uh, a, for example, a mobile phone, right? And so this way they're able to power like any type of like device with their uh, sound recognition system. So what are the use cases like that they are like addressing and in general that sound detection can address? Well, uh, some of these are like smart home, smart speakers, hearables like AirPods, for example, and mobile. Now, uh, there's like one thread uh, like that's common across like all of this, these different use cases. And the idea is that what they do is that they uh, provide a machine hearing uh, a layer uh, that understands the context through like the uh, the sonic landscape. So basically, in other words, what happens here is that like you can power like all of these like applications for smart home, smart speakers, hearables, mobile with some kind of like intelligent like hearing, so that the machine can realize what's going on. Uh, around around it, right? Just by using like hearing, the sense of hearing. At the end of the day, the technology can be used to, to perform a number of tasks for the end user. It, it can inform the end user that something like is happening. It can alert the end user if there's like something anomalous happening, or it can also like advise the user. So we can use like contextual sonic information, perhaps like to provide like recommendations on the fly and something like that. Okay, so what are like the type of job positions that you can find at Audio Analytic? Well, they have research engineers, machine learning engineers, data engineers, data scientists, and embedded software engineers. So I mean, like they have like the whole array focused like on AI audio, uh, digital signal processing, and also how to store uh, like and uh, just like implement like the different types of data that they have. Okay, so. Uh, out of like those positions, like if you're interested like in working like in this company, from what I gather, so there are like a number of skills that are very important if you want to get like, for example, like a research position there. So obviously you should be like familiar with machine learning for audio signals. You should be like quite strong, like in digital signal processing, and you should have like a strong programming experience like in Python and uh, Bash, because I think like they use like all Linux and Unix based um, uh, OS. And also I think like it's important if you want to do like some like embedded uh, system programming to know like C or C++. So uh, I found a job posting like uh, right now, like available like on the company for a research engineer uh, position. So let's just like take a quick look at that. So you can get also like an idea of like what it means like to work like at this company. So among like the skills required, as you can see, so they highlight like the importance of having like machine learning applied to uh, audio signals. Obviously you need to know uh, and have experience at least like with one type of machine learning algorithm like deep neural networks or hidden Markov models, right? And uh, good knowledge of digital signal processing, Python, Bash and development under like Linux and uh, Unix uh, systems, right? And as a desirable, they have like um, acoustics, uh, for example, and uh, stuff that has to do like with uh, microphones, so signal processing for microphones and also programming in C and C++. Okay, and in terms of like education, they're looking at people who have like a, a master's degree uh, with some level of like industrial experience or like a uh, PhD. And again, like all the different like type of like 
education that they're interested in is like machine learning applied to audio signals or DSP uh, of audio signals, even like music information retrieval. Cause like, as you should know by now, like if you follow the sound of AI channel, so you can take like all the ideas and concepts like that we use in music information retrieval and then repurpose them for any type of like sound uh, processing. Okay. So here, like you got an idea of what you should have in terms of like skills and um, understanding in order to like to uh, work at a company like Audio Analytic. I want to finish off this video with a takeaway lesson that we've learned from Audio Analytic, and that is that sound detection can be applied across industries. And the key here is this idea that if you can develop a system that uh, can hear and have information about like the sonic world that surrounds the user, then you can provide value across many different industries from health to finance to retailing, you name it really. Okay, so I hope like you found audio analytic uh, interesting and the video like uh, of some value as well. If that's the case, please remember to leave a like. And if you want to like uh, have more videos like this, please remember like to subscribe to the Sound of AI channel. It would be great like if you let me know like if you want me to re review uh, like a company in audio or music tech that you are interested in, just leave me a comment in the comment section below. So for today, I hope I'll see you next time. Cheers.